Good morning, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Boom, your show's definitely serves best its vassals. I'm a useful idiot. Today I want to talk about the micro air vehicles, or insect drones, as, uh, as I like to call them. And um, there's a, a video that's been making the rounds all over the web. And um, I wasn't going to discuss it at first because I noticed that this video is four years old. And it's a mini drone system and a demonstration video being used um, and developed by the Air Force. And uh, it is a very uh, disturbing video. And uh, But I'm going to talk about it now because everything I've seen um, doesn't really talk about this weapon system um, in the context of the big picture. And uh, that's what I want to do. So uh, first of all, we have this, uh, this micro drone system. And uh, I have a, uh, several other videos on, in the Planet of Drones series talking about the development of uh, drones and the interaction between strategy and tactics and, and our U.S. foreign policy and the use of drones. And um, I think this uh, continues to up the ante because what we have is a, a paradigm shift in the military and the uh, move to using special forces, using mercenaries, using native armies, and using robotic technology like drones um, to basically... Uh, create a global warfare zone um, where um, every single operation we're involved in is a undeclared war and we'll just be assisting native governments and, pu and puppet governments and vassal governments all over Africa, all over the Middle East, all over Asia and the like and uh, that is how um, future war will be carried out and it makes a lot of sense because we're we're not going to be working against so much um, rogue nations, we're taking care of all these rogue nations, there's only a a few left, Syria and, and Iran being notable, in North Korea. But uh, eventually, um, we have to accept the fact that future warfare is going to be against uh, uh, gangs and, um, and individuals and uh, non-state actors. So uh, we're going, going to see more and more of this move to this sort of uh, military technology. So that's why I think it's important, because... Uh, if we look at the march of history, 10 years is a, is a long time in increments. And imagine 10 years from now, and uh, this is, uh, we have a complete new strategy and tactic in the world as far as using the military. So anyway, um, so let's talk about these micro air vehicles. Um, we've seen these, uh, we've seen these uh, 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 hovering uh, nano drones that can uh, operate in unison. And that was interesting enough. And now we have uh, the uh, complete uh, expansion of this idea where drones can be operated, released in swarms, and then uh, do surveillance and attacks and uh, carry lethal loads and, and uh, can be the, be the future of warfare. And the, uh, the way the Air Force describes it is, quote, unobtrusive, pervasive, and lethal, unquote. And that's a good description because uh, when you see these things, um, drones swarming through alleys, crawling across window sills, and perched on power lines. It creates a very uh, disturbing image of what the possibilities of future war are. The ability to hover and swarm and strike. And uh, defending against these uh, smaller drones would be very difficult. So as uh, one blog brought up, I hope that the military develops uh, some defensive capabilities before releasing this technology into the public, into, into warfare because uh, it would be as equally hard to defend against for the United States as it would be anybody else should they get this kind of technology. So uh, under a program called Black Dart, they're testing this, uh, these uh, drones in, a, uh, realistic, in realistic military scenarios in urban environments. And uh, since this video is uh, four years old, uh, one can only imagine how far along they've come with this technology al already. And... Um, then you put this in unison with uh, another video that's shown up that shows a uh, quadrorotor um, uh, uh, four four uh, propeller four propeller uh, drone that uh, hover and can uh, fire pretty heavy machine guns and uh, this is also an, an interesting development imagining um, unmanned drones that hover like um, helicopters and can, can unleash minigun and, um, and firepower like this. And, and I'm sure there's 
grenade launchers and all sorts of things that will be loaded up on these things eventually. And um, so anyway, you put this in unison with the uh, the insect drones and the swarm drones, and um, you see this new um, paradigm around the globe as far as our foreign policy. And uh, there'll be little oversight and little accountability, just as there is now with the drone program. So imagine that amplified more um, with uh, smaller and smaller drones um, released all over the world for all sorts of purposes. And, um, and of course, these uh, these uh, drones are also what's known as a force multiplier. So uh, these drones can uh, be uh, bought and, uh, and uh, created uh, actually relatively cheaply. And that gives us an economic advantage of being able to uh, create lots and lots and lots of them on the cheap. And uh, they will give us uh, capabilities that uh, ground troops and uh, current conventional air power uh, cannot give us. So, uh, so this is all part of the military paradigm shift and strategy and tactics. And we will see more of these robotic armies. And we've seen the fact that they're using exoskeletons with U.S. soldiers. Um, as well as uh, working on pure robotics. And uh, although the actual robotic soldier seems to be farther off, this new uh, drone technology doesn't seem to be far off. So we can look forward to a, a, a very scary future battlefield, not unlike things we've seen in Matrix movies, where uh, there's going to be drones of all sizes. Um, there'll be uh, missiles and uh, smart bombs and uh, conventional aircraft cyber warfare, um, shutting down of electronic grids, particle beams and lasers, robotics, and special forces. So uh, quite a nightmarish scenario. So when I look at all this technology together, I look at a very frightening future battlefield where essentially um, drones come in, shut down the entire electronic grid of a country. So all the power goes out, all the computers go out, all the technology goes out, all the ability to communicate goes out. Uh, a nation or a city or a zone gets completely blacked out. And then you have an uh, aircraft carrier that launches a, uh, uh, a vast um, fleet of drones instead of uh, fighter jets. Imagine a vast fleet of drones that comes swarming in. And then the uh, fleet of drones itself unleashes um, thousands of these mini drones. And um, this is just a, a crazy scenario to imagine in a future battlefield. But uh, I, I have to imagine that that's what we'll see. And, of course, when you uh, see that video, it makes it all the more clear. And it's attached below. So uh, welcome to a uh, future battlefield where uh, shock and awe will truly be shock and awe. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.